And here's the debris that the Polaris return side cleaner. This one has a booster pump, and you can get also without, and I'll show you a Polaris without the booster pump, the 360. This is actually a 280. And you can see it's full after one week. I'll open it up, you can see the debris. You can see with the silt sandbag, um, it picked up everything here, even dirt. So it'll pick up everything a suction side cleaner will pick up, plus more. I'll show you the bottom of the Polaris so you see what I mean. And that's the opening on the Polaris on the bottom. So you can see large debris will just get picked up on the return side cleaner versus the suction side cleaner. None, none of them have any kind of opening like this. Okay, we're going to look at the debris that the pool cleaner by Pool Vernugan has picked up during this week. And this pool is surrounded by oak trees. It's only going to get worse as the season gets on. Let me get the canister out. Okay, let's see what it picked up this week. And it picked up quite a bit of the oak tree droppings. And like I said with this cleaner, it has a really good ability to pick up large uh, debris in the pool. That's not a bad take for this cleaner. See from the skimmer, this pool is going to get a lot of um, debris in it from the oak trees. So like I said, it's only the beginning and the pool cleaner by Pool Vernugan is actually an excellent cleaner uh, for this pool. You see the debris opening on the Pool Vernugan um, cleaner, pool cleaner. It's fairly large, larger than the Navigator. It has a similar technology with the um, rotating thing that pulls the debris in, but it is a larger debris opening. That's why it picks up those acorns pretty easily in large debris. This is the debris from a creepy crawly the canister up and you can see what it picked up during the week. Okay, and let's see what kind of debris it picked up this week. And you can see it picks up quite a bit of different size debris. It also gets acorns of pretty good size. I mean, that's large. I that would clog up a navigator or a zodiac cleaner. You can see the creepy has a good size opening and it has this hard flapper in there that really helps pick up that large debris. And this is how the pool looked when I got here. So you can see it's very efficient in keeping this thing pretty immaculate. And so the thing about the creep, you can actually hear the clicking noise the flapper makes. And it could be annoying to some people. I myself don't mind. I have one in my backyard and I hear it when my pool's running. Kind of get used to it. And here's the debris from the Polaris 360. It's the return side cleaner that doesn't need a booster pump. And it's very efficient in this pool. This pool has a lot of trees right above it. So it's going to get a lot of debris. And so this is about a week's worth here. And you can see the debris it picked up would give a suction side cleaner some trouble. It's quite large. And it also picks up the dirt. So it's very efficient if your pool can take this particular cleaner. For this cleaner to work, you need to have a sufficient pump. This one's one and a half horsepower and a good equipment setup. And the Polaris 360 only works if you have threaded wall fittings. It attaches to the wall through this threaded fitting. So if you don't have threaded wall, wall return lines in the pool, you cannot install this cleaner. If you have a pool with large debris and this cleaner is really excellent. And here's a G2 underneath an avocado tree and it actually tried to pick up an avocado. It actually split it in half and there's part of it wedged in there. Didn't quite get that avocado. And here's the canister and the debris that it picked up this week. You can 
see that it gets really big debris with stems and leaves and I didn't stop it put all this debris in there just the avocado it's got about that size opening with a diaphragm that loose a soft diaphragm but it pulls a lot of stuff through as long as it's pliable it'll pull through the cleaner let's see what kind of debris it picked up this week as you can get a look at it and it picks up smaller uh, acorn type debris it won't get the larger ones that will get stuck in there but it does pick up small ones so it's fairly decent as far as a cleaner if your pool doesn't have any large debris I don't have a canister because it doesn't get a lot of major big debris, but it's got a lot of leaves in here today. The navigator does good when you don't have a lot of large debris. It picked up a lot of small leaf particles and things like that. They're doing some remodeling here, so a lot of um, cements getting in there or grout from the tile. And uh, so it does a good job with small debris. So the navigator does well with mainly dirt, small debris. Anything large like an acorn will probably stop it. It doesn't have a really big opening, as you see from the bottom. And it does have a lot of moving parts, so it is a part hog, so you have to be replacing parts continuously to use this particular cleaner. But it does great in a dirt, dusty area like a desert. And this is a creepy cruiser. It's the cousin of the creepy crawly, except it has a silent um, flapper inside here. It's got a good sizable opening. I'll show you the debris that this thing picked up during the week. I pulled the canister out and we get the debris out of here. And you can see it picked up quite a bit of the leaves in this pool. And this pool mainly just gets leaves and it picks up all the big ones. So it's a really good cleaner in that respect. I prefer the creepy crawly still over this one. Again, it does run silent, but I still think the Creepy Crawly is a more efficient cleaner. This is the Pool Vernugan Pool Cleaner Return Side Cleaner. It's got a very similar debris bag to the Polaris. It's also a fine mesh bag and it's actually bigger than the Polaris bag. The cleaner itself has a smaller opening than the Polaris, but it's still very efficient picking up debris. It gets anything, it gets very large debris also. This one here is just full of bamboo. So I picked up all those bamboo leaves and it leaves this pool pretty much spotless every week. Here's the MX-8 by Zodiac. I'm going to go ahead and see what kind of debris this thing has. This pool is basically just leaves, so it's going to just be full of leaves. Which it does a pretty good job of picking up. See right now the actual cleaner is clogged up with leaves. It's got a whole bunch of them stuck in the turban area. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can dislodge it. And it is actually clogged up. You can see the turban is all clogged. And uh, it actually... Fairly easy to unclog. This is a dolphin diagnostic. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out and look at the debris that this thing picks up. And one thing about this cleaner, it is a pain to get in and out. It is pretty heavy. So it's full of water and I just kind of let it drain before I pull it all the way out. And it's still pretty heavy even when it's empty of water. Again, I don't really endorse robot cleaners just for cost effect reasons and their cleaning ability. 
um, you know, you could pay three times what it would cost for a comparable suction side or return side cleaner. And so you can go through three of the suction side or return side cleaners before you get to the value of this one cleaner. And so the whole bottom releases and you pull the whole bag out. It's actually a very thick uh, cloth bag and it traps all the dirt and debris. So nothing will escape this cleaner as far as dirt particles. So I'm going to go ahead and remove it from here. And this is about a month worth of debris. This pool doesn't get really dirty so I clean it about once every month. You can see all the mud and grass and cake that it picks up in the pool. So it is efficient. I'm not saying it's not. I just don't think the cost of the cleaner um, is worth investing in it. Again, here's a better look at the debris opening for the cleaner. You see it's just got this gate. So we'll pick up um, debris, but it won't pick up anything like these um, seed pods. So removing the bag and getting it back on and cleaning it is a bit of a chore.